Hello YouTube. In this video we're going to talk about IP addressing. What is it and how is it used? So what is an IP address? An IP or internet protocol address is a logical address that your network uses to communicate on different networks with other devices through the TCP IP protocol. TCP, IP, and UDP will be covered in a different presentation. This IP address used in conjunction with a physical MAC address which defines your network traffic origin and destination. All IP addresses are in what is called dotted decimal notation meaning that the address is all in 10 base decimal number with points dotted between octets and to indicate the end of a noted segment. There are four segments known as octets and are separated by dots which make up the IP address. Each octet can only have a limited range from 0 to 255. An example IP address is 192.168.1.80. An IP address is 32 bits in length and has five different IP address classes that each have a different purpose. There are various ranges of IP addresses some special addresses, and some addresses that are just cannot be used. Each class has a specified subnet mask which defines how many bits of the address defines the network in which the address is on and how many bits define the hosts that are on said network. So what is a MAC address? A MAC or Media Access Control Address is the hardware hexadecimal address assigned to your network device by the vendor or manufacturer. All network devices have a MAC address and that address is 48 bits in size. Routers and other computers use IP addresses and protocols called ARP Address Resolution Protocol to determine the exact MAC address to know what system or device to send the network traffic to. All network devices listen to all traffic on the Ethernet and listen for traffic that is specified to their MAC address. ARP address resolution protocol is for finding out the MAC with the known IP. Reverse address resolution protocol or ARP is for finding the IP address with a known MAC. This is commonly used with boot P to network boot a diskless system. So what is dotted decimal notation? Well let's take a look at this real quick. And dotted decimal notation the first thing you need to realize is the 10 base system is a regular number system we as humans use on a daily basis. We can't interpret binary worth a darn. Computers can. That's what they primarily communicate and understand. So it converts the IP address over into the 10 base decimal system. So in the 1's place you have a 5, in the 10's place a 2, in the 100's place a 3, in the 1000th place a 6, in the 10,000th place a 2, and in the 100,000th place a 1. What does that equal out to? 126,325. We know and understand this. The computer has no idea what that even is until it can convert it over into binary. So as you can see from the image in the previous slide, dotted decimal notation is nothing more than our normal decimal numerical system that we as people use all the time on a daily basis. It is a 10 based numerical system. The term dotted is because of the three dots that separate the decimal numbers of the four octets. Each numerical place is a multiple of 10 and goes 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000, and 1 million. If you go negative, it's tenths, one hundredths, one thousandths, ten thousands, and so on. A decimal number example is 12,346.99. The only interesting thing is that an IP address and dotted decimal, you will never see a numerical value below zero or above 255. This is because of the binary bits per each octet. So what's with all these octets? Well, as you can see in this image here, you have 69.89.31.226, which below it is the actual binary equivalent of that decimal number. So you have the first octet is before the first dot, 
the second octet is after the first dot but before the second dot. The third octet is after the second dot but before the third and the fourth octet is the final number which is after the third dot. This is an IPv4 address and if you counted each one of the zeros and ones that's below that IP address and between all the dots there's exactly 32 of them there. That 32 is 32 bits. Each one is considered a bit. 8 is a byte and 4 is a nibble. So there's exactly 4 bytes or 32 bits in an IP address. So as you can see in the previous image this IP address is made up of four sets of decimal numbers separated by dots. Each of the decimal numbers is an 8-bit or 1-byte string. These are decimal representations of the binary equivalent. The reason we use these dotted decimal notation in octets are because we as humans understand these decimal numbers better than the binary string. The computer on the other hand understands the binary string so the PC will automatically convert each octet into a dotted decimal to the binary value that it can use. Each octet can contain a value of 0 to 255. This gives you a binary representation of all zeros equal 0 and all 1s equals 255. That means you have 8 zeros, that's 0, and 8 1s is 255. So as you can see, your combination can be anything between all zeros or all 1s in binary. So what is binary in its place in IP? Binary is a two-based language that consists entirely of zeros or 1s. Now being a two base, each step up the chain are in multiples of two, much like our decimal system is multiples of ten. So if you have an IP or a binary address of one zero one one zero one one one, then you have the one here that's in the ones place, a one here that's in the twos place, both of them added together makes three. So you have a 1 here in the 4's place. Well, all of these added together makes 7. You have a 0 in the 8's place. If there was a 1 there, it would be 8 plus 7, which would be 15. And then you have 16's, 32's, 64's, and 128. So to be able to figure this out, exactly as it shows over here, if you line it up like this, give the 128, the 0, the 1, line it all up where you have your actual bit value for each one if you take each one of the bit values and add them together that binary code right there equals out to 183 so it's 128 plus 32 you skip the zeros you only add together the ones the zeros is zero it means nothing so you add 128 to 32 add 16 add 4 add 2 add 1 you have 183 so what is binary in its place in IP? Hmm. So as you can tell by the previous image, each following bit in a chain increases the multiple by 2. So in simple terms, an 8-bit string, which is a single octet, has the possibility of adding up to 256. That would be 2 to the 8th power. Now if there are 256 possibilities, why is it only going to 255? This is entirely because in a computer, 0 is a number. So if you include 0, then the possibilities is 0 through 255, which equals 256 numbers. So to convert a binary octet into IP, you simply add the value of the 1s, ignore the zeros that have no value, the bits read from right to left, with the right being the lowest and the left being the highest. Now to convert a dotted decimal notation IP address to binary, all you have to do is subtraction. And you're going to do this backwards from the adding. Let's take the same 73 on the below image. Will 128 subtract from it without creating a negative? No, so it will be a zero. Will 64 subtract to, from it without being negative? Yes, so set a one, and you now are left with nine. Will 32 or 16 subtract without creating a negative? No, so both of those will be 0. 8 will subtract from 9, so that bit will be set to 1, and you now have 1 left. 4 and 2 will not subtract from 1, so both of those will be a 0. Now, 
1 from 1 equals 0. So the final bit will be a 1. This leaves you with 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. In binary, that equals 73. So how, so how the maximum value of 255? Well, all bits enabled equals 255. And remember that all bits disabled equals 0. There are four 8-bit octets. 8 times 4 equals 32 bits. What are IP classes and ranges? Classes are what define specific IP address ranges based off of their bit value for the octets. Classes defined by their addresses and values, how many systems can be on the network for the class range and the IP address lives in based off of its binary bits used. These classes are also outlined by the subnet mask value based off the IP address string or range. The classes are A, B, C, D, and E. Classes A, B, and C are actively used in all kinds of networks around the world, including the internet. Class D are used for multicasting to multiple systems in the subnet. Class E are experimental addresses that are actively not used on most networks. So as you can see in this image here, you have class A with an address that begins with 0 and goes to 127. Class B starts. So class B, the binary address, begins with 10, and the ranges are between 128 to 191. Class C, the binary address, begins with 110 and ranges between 192 to 223. A class D address arranges where the first octet is 224 through 239. Class E addresses are arranged from where the first octet is 240 through 247. An address of 255.255.255.255 .255 is a broadcast address to all networks. Broadcast can be cut down to networks like 10.255.255.255, which is a broadcast to all machines in the class A10. network. 172.5.255.255 would broadcast to all systems in the class B 172.5 network and 192.168.1255 would broadcast to all systems in the class C 192.168.1 network which is very common for most home systems. So what is a subnet or subnet mask? A subnet should not be confused with a subnet mask as they are very different things. A subnet is nothing more than a subnetwork that is part of your internal network infrastructure. Subnetting will be explained in a later presentation. A subnet mask is a 4 octet dotted decimal value, much like an IP address that tells the IP what part of the address defines the actual network and what part of the address defines the number of hosts on the network system. A subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 is the default for a class C address that allows up to 254 devices or hosts on the network. A subnet mask of 255.255.0.0 is a default for class B addresses and allows up to 65,534 devices or hosts on the network. A subnet mask of 255.0.0.0 is a default for class A address and allows up to 16,277,214 devices or hosts on that network. By hosts or devices that can be computer systems, phones, printers. So yeah, if you wanted to go with an IP address from a class A scheme, you can have over 16,277,214. 200 devices on your network. The best way to see how this works is to convert the IP address and subnet mask both to their binary values. All the bits that are turned on are what defines the network. The number of bits that are turned off are what defines the number of hosts. To know the number of hosts, simply add the value of the string of open bits, which are the zeros, until you reach the first one. So in the class B example, 2 to the 16th power, because there are 16 bits free, equals 65,535. Remember to subtract 1 
for the address 255 255 or for the address 255 that cannot be used 2 to the power of 24 or 2 to the 24th power or 24 bits free in the class gives and the class A gives us over 16 million and 2 to the 8th power or the 8 bits only 255 and remember to subtract that 1 for the address that you can't use and you get 254 so here's the actual image with the layout. And this is what I was talking about, how if you actually break it down to the decimal or the binary values, you can see how it works. So this right here is the actual IP address. And you see how you have all these ones? All this defines the network. So the first three octets are used for the network indication. The final octet is used for the actual host or systems that's going to be on the network. As you can tell by all these being zero, that all adds up to 256 which given the fact that zero is used in a computer if you subtract the one that gives you 255 so this has a total of 255 combinations or 256 combinations from the number zero to the number 255 so here's your subnet mask quick reference guide this will show you 255, 255, 255, 255 as all ones. The mask length is 32 bits. Your subnet length is zero. This allows for absolutely no hosts. If you go 255, 255, 254, that's all ones. The last one is a zero. That gives you a 31 bit net subnet mask length and allows for one system on the entire network. So as you look at this, you can see how the whole thing boils down and how the subnet mask works. So why addresses cannot be used? Well, you're not just going to use the class D or class E address on your devices on your network. Anything with the first octet starting at zero is not allowed. 0.0.0, .0, .0 is not a valid address. 255, 255, 255 is not a valid usable address because that is used for broadcasting. Any class A, B, or C address that ends in a zero is not valid as those are normally programmed into a router or some switches to define the entire network that, that will be in the address range. Example, 192.168.0 forward slash 24 is a notation that says to the network that it will be using the 192.168.1 network and a subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, 0. That forward slash 24 is CIDR notation stating that it's using 24 bits to define the network. I would like to thank you for your time and uh, this is a rather extensive thing explaining the actual IP addresses. You can do far more research and learn lots more about how IP addresses work, how the schemes lay out, the subnet mass, the subnetting, how you have different subnets. There's a whole slew of information and books out there. I hope this has helped you understand IP addressing a little bit better. And this information is out there for absolutely everybody. As always, watch, like, and share. Have a great day.